We're in Dawsonville, Georgia, heading to the Moonshine Festival, and Claire is going to help us uh, tour us around. And she happens to own the oldest house here in Dawsonville, the Vandeveer House. That's correct. And the Moonshine Festival is uh, uh, every third weekend in October, every year, and it's to celebrate the moonshine years of Dawson County. Originally, Dawsonville was the beginning of the stock car races, and uh, they used to run up Highway 9 uh, delivering moonshine, and so this is in celebration of that. All right, this is Dwight Bearden. Now, um, you're going to tell me a little bit about the steel you got right here. This steel right here is roughly 80 year old. This steel was actually cut by the revenueers twice. That's your steel, that's a cap, this is the thump barrel, this is the heater box, mm -hmm. this is your condenser. Oh, there's the good stuff. And that's the good stuff. Now I'm with the sheriff of Dawsonville, Billy Carlisle. Now is this your car? No, this is not my car. <laughs> this one's they used to use to chase the moonshiners down with. Uh huh. Now, could they keep up with them? Did they get them? They couldn't keep up with them very well because the moonshine cars had more of a horsed up powered engine uh -huh. where these just come factory engines. We couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> so, were they trying their darndest time? Huh? Right. <laughs> they never thought they could. All right, here is the same model they would use to haul that moonshine. As you can see, it has a large trunk. Well, the more moonshine you could haul, the more money you would make. Every night, every morning, going down through Tate. Marietta and right into Atlanta. You know, the days are reputable, but they're, they're the same. Painted the same thing, and the car number's the same, and it's like it was back then days. You were the hauling and making the money. And well, just trying to get started. Charlie, this county's big enough for two newspapers, but you're the one in front of the pool room, so tell me, why is the Dawsonville pool room such a shrine here? Pool room is the history of NASCAR before NASCAR was actually NASCAR. This place has to do with racing and moonshine that goes far back into the depression. It's a great place, it's a good place to eat. Hey, I found the owner, Gordon Perkle. Now Gordon, how long have you owned this place? About 38 years. Long enough, no better. Uh -huh. Now tell me, what's it like on a race day in here when uh, Bill Elliott is racing? Pretty much like it is now, only a lot more noisy, especially when he's winning. Oh, I'll bet. Now tell me, uh, what do you think? Is he going to go back to full-time racing? I sure wish he would, but considering his age, I kind of doubt it now. <laughs> well, I know what. I'm getting ready to get a bite to eat. What should I have? Better have a bully burger while you're in here. Now, Alice, I understand you've been selling goods at every one of these uh, moonshine festivals. Uh, yes. It started back 37 years ago. And it was fall festival at that time. And the little community got together and we could only have handmade things. Such as this? Yes, yeah, such as my bonnets. And I have pot holders and quillows and casserole carriers. And if I don't have it, I can get it for you. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> Not only does Moonshine Festival have the streets filled with arts, crafts, exhibits, wonderful food, believe me, but they got great bluegrass music playing too. You're watching channel 63, the Visitor's Information Channel. Hey, and when you're here, be sure to pick up the Dawson Community News. Right, Charlie? That's absolutely right.